welcome to another video in this video I will discuss about canvas apps and how you can send emails with images in email body in canvas app so in last video I have already discussed about how to send email body with HTML format you can watch that video if you have not watched and in this video we'll see how we can embed the images in email body or we can send emails in attachment so let us first see how we can embed an external hosted image inside a email body right so this is my email body field right here i can put my uh, which is a rich text box here i can put my uh, content uh, that will be displayed in the email body but before this i want to display an image and this image i want to use from an external directory for example pexels.com this is the external uh, directory for photography so let's say i want to use uh, a photography for my choice uh, so i'll just copy one uh, let me just uh, search a photo like meeting now i want to use this photo so i can right click and copy image address and go to here in the send email functionality or power effects i want to write down something so here we have used html text txt body html text this is nothing but the content of the txt body text uh, email body text box okay because we have taken rich text box so we are, we are using html text property now here i want to append the image which is externally hosted so what i can do i have to use concatenation here so use double quote and ampersand so ampersand will be used for concatenating operator and in this uh, double quote i want to write down i want to write here the image tag html image tag so write down img close the uh, tag then property src equal to single quote and said that put the image address you have copied that's it right so what it will do it will render the email body with this external image and with the uh, html text of the txt body so let us test this now run this and give a email address let's say i want to give an email address and subject i want to put email body image testing here i can put some uh, information in the body it is text body i can write down this is an example of external image in email body i can make some uh, text uh, colored and uh, i can format th some text because it is uh, rich text right now once i will click send it will automatically pick up the uh, image from the hosted url and display in the email id or email body so click on send let us see how it works now email is sent successfully let me open the outlook to check i can check my email inbox so this is the email i have received which email subject is email body image testing and in the email body you can see the image and after that the text of this text box right so this is how you can get the uh, email body and email uh, get the image embedded in the email body from an external source i am using this external hosted source if they will remove this image this will not work this image will not work right and now we will discuss how we can send an email by embedding an image uploaded inside your app so you can use a control called as add image right this is the add picture this is the media you can use so when add picture control is used you can upload an image against a picture right so once you upload let us see how it works if you run it if you 
uh, click the image you can upload an image here right so this add picture control helps you to choose a picture and upload inside a image right so how you can upload one image and uh, attach this image in your email body right you can also do that let us see how you can do this you can remove this picture also let me go to this let me resize this right so when you add a control called as add picture it will add two controls one is the um, the button itself to upload the image and another is the image wh where actually the image is stored and whenever you want to use this image in the email body you have to take the reference of this image control so if you use uploaded image to dot image then you can get the latest of image updated or uploaded in this image control now what you need to write in the power effects let us see so in the power effects you need to write this one image and in src you need to pass json and inside that you need to pass the id of the uploaded image control then image then after that session format dot include binary data right so as because you want to include an image inside a email body so you have to use json format include binary data now this the output of this string will be represented in the src attribute of the image then append the rich text box html text now let us see how it works i'll just run it and upload an image by using change picture let's say i want to use this one or something like uh, a border for example this one right so i want to display at the initial um, step of the email body now click on send now i'm expecting this email will be sent to my outlook and this image will be available in the email body as an embedded image and which is uploaded on demand in the app i am not using an external uh, image source rather it is uploaded by me and within my canvas app only and let us go to my outlook and check that you see here the image is displaying in the body right and the content of the text box is already associated in the below now you understand how you can use this uh, business requirement use case if there is a requirement that to you know a display an image embedded in the email body you can use this process add picture control but in addition to this also there is another uh, scenario where you want to use a image control and you want to use that image uh, image uh, uh, image attribute in the send email so let me delete this this is add image control but i don't want to use this i want to use a image control and this image is a static image i can man i can choose a image for this image uh, component i can use this image control or image property of this image then choose uh, for example uh, this one okay now this is the image and image control can be used for static images okay you can attach at the time of design because if you do not use add control you cannot uh, upload an image uh, dynamically on the run time so how you can use this image in embedded email body just take the id of this image control it is image 4 so go to the code and instead of using the uploaded image use image 4 dot image everything should be same now let us test this so i am expecting this image will be uploaded or not uploaded this image will be embedded in the email body you see guys now this time the image is directly picked from the image um, control 
it is not giving a option to choose dynamically an image by using change image or add image control so according to the business need use the correct way so thank you everyone for watching this video this is very important use case you can use in your business uh, requirements see you next time for new videos bye